I visited Loyola. This is my first time ever coming to Chicago. And I just stepped on campus and it felt right. It wasn't too big, it wasn't too small. It was exactly where I wanted to be. I came from a Jesuit university myself, so I knew what it meant and how they were really committed to the social impact work. And so it made sense for me to come and study an MBA focused on social impact in Loyola and, and in the city. I chose Loyola because of their commitment to health equity and their patient-centered approach to care. And both of those are informed by this Jesuit notion of the inherent dignity of all people. When I originally came in, I felt welcomed. You know, it felt like I went from being a student to having a family. So right when the pandemic hit, uh, we had to go home. Um, I think this was like the week before spring break. We had the metaphorical rug pulled out from under, underneath our feet and all of a sudden everything was switched to online. And um, yeah, it was, it, it was of course challenging. We were isolated. We were not able to see those people, our classmates who have been such an incredible support system for those first two years. I think the biggest roadblock um, during that time was trying to stay focused. I lived in a really social dorm my freshman year and then that was a really hard thing to just be done and go home. We handled it with, with grace and I was just humbled by some of the, the resiliency of many of my classmates. Somehow still staying connected with the people that I had met, whether it be on Zoom, whether it be on FaceTime. My program was very helpful in creating this community. We would have virtual coffee talks. We made projects together, you know, we would get online and we would form groups and we would help each other in class. That's something I will appreciate always, like I have this Friends for Life that Loyola gave me here in Chicago. So, so with the pandemic came uh, a really big time for reflection uh, within myself. So I ended up changing my focus from medicine to public health, more specifically into what is epidemiology. When coming back to campus though, I think the biggest thing was joining clubs that matter to me and getting involved in the clubs that I'm in. So in my sorority, getting involved with being in the sisterhood stuff and getting involved with teaching new members and helping them to come back into the sorority. When I look at my classmates who did not relent in their collective pursuit of their medical education, I'm filled with hope. After graduation, I will continue working at Driehaus Capital Management, now as a full-time employee. So the hope and dream is, uh, you know, getting a job within epidemiology. So a couple days ago, I found out that I'll be going to Columbia for internal medicine residency. I have been exposed to um, some corporate recruiting, which has kind of given me insight into where I want to take my psychology degree. And hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I will be taking on a full-time position as a recruiter at LaSalle Network. When I look back, I am going to say, I did it. I did it with the help of Loyola, the, the family bond that I built, you know, joining together and, and completing what I started. I would say that it definitely has set me up to manage my expectations and to kind of persevere through whatever difficult situation is happening, whether it be my work life, whether it be personal life, academic life. We found Friends for Life here, um, and um, I feel incredibly blessed to have been a part of this community and really found my people during these past uh, five years.